And in the thin air, it's a short kick that Trevor Etienne will bring back from the goal line. And part of that running back tandem is stopped short of the 20. That's good coverage by the Utes. Man, it's got to be deafening for him. Yeah. Looking to throw on first down. Short drop and gets it out in the flat. And the catch is made and already picking up about seven is Khalil Jackson. Play action on first down and Barnes looking downfield. Takes his shot, launches for money. Parks who catches it in stride. What a start for Barnes on the offense. 70 yards on the opening play. Looking at the crosser right here, he gets affected by that, and it opens up to take that shot by then he's too late, not able to get back in coverage. Well-designed play and a great throw here by Barnes on his first throw of the year. An electric start for the Utes, and the Gators find themselves quickly down by a touchdown. From the end zone, Barnes delivers, and the catch is made. And they get back the penalty and then some. That's Devon Bailey, the most reliable target. Barnes, good protection, delivers across the middle, and the catch is made, and they move the sticks. How about just sitting this it, it, Instead of blitzing and playing man, you see zone. Now you just got to find the pocket. Good job and a big target of Barnes waiting to be able to get him into that soft spot in the zone, throwing it accurately. 6'5", 250. Gators had a big problem stopping Keithy in last year's game. He had nine catches. Barnes on the move again. Fires across the middle. Catch made again out across the 40-yard line. And that time it's Miki Sugaturaga, another tight end. Backer's going to be for Florida. And how the safeties. Look how they're out of position here. A little play action. There's nobody at that second level. Good recognition there by Barnes. Looks out to the flat. Cup. After a couple of three and outs. And on the end around, they pop the pass to Trey Wilson. And the speedster picks up about nine. Mertz backpedals and now finds Johnson out of the backfield. He's got ahead of steam, making cuts. Montrell Johnson lost the ball. Looks like the Gators fell on it. That was Mazuka. He's inbounds, inbounds. He goes airborne, but when he comes down right there, his elbow is down clearly. His defense off guard completely. Mertz slipped as he set up, and he'll be swarmed and sacked at the 25 by Jonah Ellis. Knocks it through. So they drive. Some quarterback, the guy who makes the signal calls for this unit. Mertz throwing downfield, and a catch is made. That's Marcus Burke, who's making a huge impact here in the first quarter. Gets to play in that first quarter. Mertz rolls in the naked bootleg, flips it across the middle. That's Jonathan Odom, the big tight end, rumbling down into the red zone. They are really clicking now. To the right. Utes rush five, Mertz on the move, scrambling for it, can he get there? Makes a cut, takes a hit, loses the football, he bounces out of bounds, so Florida will retain possession. Again, you're not used to seeing Graham Mertz do this, he sees man coverage, nobody open, he's going to use his legs, nobody accounts for the quarterback, and there's the, one of their best players on defense. It's good from 32 earlier, this from 31. And he slides it wide right from bad to worse. They recruited knowing that if the quarterback didn't work out, he could play any number of positions. That's how good an athlete he is. And he's got the keeper, and Johnson flashes that acceleration and gets a first down across the third. Throw it. And you keep it on the ground. And banging through the middle there is Makai Bernard. And Utah, after getting the gift from the Gators and then the missed field goal, and Johnson bobbles the snap and is swarmed for a loss. Like a little confusion there was Quinton Jackson in the backfield. The new third down, right? Because if you don't succeed on that down, it's just so hard to win on third down against these situational defenses. That's a high punt. Fair caught at the four. There's a flag down right near where it was fielded. It's called into field punts. On the defense. There were two number threes on the field for the Florida team. That penalty is five yards from the previous spot. Results in a first down. We were told Marshall was supposed to wear 33. That is a crushing penalty. <laughs> wow. Because it happened on the punt. Utah will be able to keep the football with a first down at the Florida 
45. Blitz picked up on second down. He gets the pass out. Mikey Matthews, true freshman, only about seasons with the Wolverines. Second and eight. Johnson keeps it, delayed, and then accelerates. All the way to the end zone. Nate Johnson, change of pace, and it's a fast pace. And the Utahs take advantage of that penalty and had their lead, a 27-yard sprint. Let's run and watch the option that he has. Not just an option. He's looking to throw that football. He sees man-to-man, -man, and then he has the option to also run the football. You see Jalen Hurst do this a lot for the Eagles. Mertz flushed. Chase and sack for the second time tonight. That was the star safety Cole Bishop who got back there. Third and four, play clock at three. And Bernard takes the handoff deep behind the line of scrimmage, and he just plows forward for a first down. And his backwards pass. Vele can throw it. He loops the ball downfield. Incomplete. Just over the fingertips of Bernard, who was open. He barely, nearly executed the trick play. Here on this series. So here's Cole Becker. In the transfer from Colorado, where he kicked three field goals from beyond 50 and altitude there. This from 51 bangs it right through. No problem. And second and 10. Play action again, and they swarm him. They got him with a four man rush. And that was Keanu Tanovasa. Napier you know, choosing to use the timeout. I don't know that they're going to feel too adventurous about trying to make something happen here. Is this one. Stops dead and now rolls backwards and Porter will take over with nine seconds. Huge spring pressure. Wurntz gets the ball away. Batted up in the air and it's intercepted. Off the carom. The catch is made by Sione Vaki. And the Utes in great position with the first takeaway tonight. So important. He gets this ball out. He gets it out early, but Pearsall is not even ready to be able to get his hands up. Head's not turned around. Watch him. Ball's in the air now. It's a little bit his inside. The accuracy and the timing is off. Oh, Going to go some little tempo here on second and eight. End around. Mikey Matthews makes a cut. Burst. Clover in motion. Barnes looks back to his left. Has plenty of time. Now that's to create on the run. Can he get there? The pylon. Touchdown, Bryson Barnes scampers in, and each Utah quarterback has a rushing touchdown. They fake it to ETN, and Mertz looking to launch downfield. Pearsall's wide open, and finally makes an impact play. The most dangerous receiver in this court had a very quiet night. That's Pearsall right there in motion. They pitch it back into traffic, and the Utes are all over it. Dante Zanders, the tight end, got the pass. Aiming of this. Right there, you're trying to get the defense attention to go out wide. He actually underhands that. Johnson back at quarterback. And lost the ball. Was going to pitch it to the edge. Still a scramble for it. He's very, very lucky to avoid a turnover. That's the second time tonight. He's a great athlete. Brothers, incredible. With the play fake, Mertz launches downfield and trying to make a one-handed grab as Pearsall trying to cut into this lead. A crucial play for the Gator offense. Mertz pump fakes, back pedals, running out of time, and they get him again. And Jonah Ellis has made a huge impact on it. Problem is the timing is off. He pumps fakes right there. The receiver hadn't finished his route, so nobody falls for it. Then he wants to come off of it, and by the time he comes off of it, there's again that speed off the edge by by Jonah Ellis able to get in there, but the timing once again. And they take over in plus territory, hand it to Money Parks on the end around. He's stopped behind the line by Marshall. Pearsall standing at his 10. And that's his job. Rolls it out, boots it high, and look at that bounce. Second time tonight, he's checked it up beautifully. Crowd at Rice Eccles of 53 6. Loud as Mertz backpedals in the end zone and flips it underneath for the tight end there. And that's Odom who's made an impact and he gallops out to the that's 25. Big fella. Tight ends shifting around here. A lot of pre snap movement. The clock down to four. Mertz from the pocket delivers a low throw. It's a catch. Bar yeah. Barton got it. 
Barton got it. What concentration. Ooh. Ooh. Does he have control before Bill. hits the ground, or does the ground aid Bill's in the control doesn't there? Work, but he's waving it off. But they, they may get a snap off. Yep. Oh, they stopped it. After further review, ruling on the field of a completed pass stands. Well, they didn't see enough to change. Mertz lofting to the end zone, jump ball. And Caleb Douglas catches the ball, kind of a delayed reaction. He kind of stood there. Nice grab coming back to it. On 6 2. Douglas is at 6-4, goes up and over him. And I really don't think Vaughn ever really located the football. Great job in a 50-50 ball. So trying to cut it in a 13-point game. And across the middle, catch made, conversion made by Trey Wilson. So the Gators still alive here in that third quarter, just 12 yards. And suddenly a 13-point game. Johnson. Keeper gets the edge. Nate Johnson flashes the speed again and out across the 40. Exactly what they need to. Started the Rose Bowl as a corner and was the top tackler against Ohio State going both ways. Here's Bernard the runner. Rumbles down inside the 40 of the game. They try a 55 yard field goal. It was good earlier from 51 at plenty of leg. Drives this one and bangs it through from 55. Did he miss it? Did it, did it go wide? Yeah, it's all right. That's all right. I, was, I get excited. I was, I was excited. I get excited because yeah. it was flying long. Yeah, I think. I, think I, I was surprised they tried it because now Florida's going to have good field position. It was good all the way until it just, just hooked outside by a couple inches at the left, and that's the difference between a 13-point and a 16-point lead. Faith in the kicker, but. Not what you would expect. Not, not the kind of safe, prudent play. And now Mertz has found a little rhythm here. It's a catch made by Douglas. It's a first set inside the 40. Need nine on third. Comes the pressure. Mertz delivers over the middle. Pearsall makes the catch. Not first down yardage. He's dragged down by Johnson. To Giving him a cushion. Mertz looks the other direction. Throws a slant. And they do complete it for a first down. That's Caleb Douglas. Hurts, knocked down, sacked for the fifth time tonight. They've been effective tonight getting after Mertz. They do bring the pressure. Pump fake, batted in the air, incomplete. Pressure off the edge by Jonah Ellis, who's got a couple of sacks, and now bats down the pass to all but seal this victory. Utah offense didn't do a whole lot after halftime. They've been outgained in this game, but all those crucial situations in football, third downs, and red zones. They were a problem for the Gators last year. They haven't got it fixed yet. Gators back to the drawing board. They got to get ready for you know, Tennessee in a couple weeks, and it's going to get tough for them. They got Kentucky coming up, and they get into the heart of the SEC. So, thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.